Hey, hello again, everybody. This is Casey with Home Smart Real Estate Group of Northern Colorado. I just put this little video clip together. I'm going to be installing a water line for an ice maker for the refrigerator I just bought for the missus. Um, she's very happy. And before all of you gasp and whore saying, well, he's not a licensed plumber, I'll give you a little background. I did apprentice for a plumber uh, early in my construction career in Cody, and one of my first jobs with uh, Roy was we were plumbing up from the ground up rough end to finish uh, eight plexes by uh, Powell Community College at that time. And from there we did a several other jobs, both kind of like commercial and residential. And then things got slow, I got laid off and moved on to some different work. So any home that I built that I ever did the plumbing on, all of them passed inspection uh, with flying colors. Uh, just part of my background in construction. Little side note story, when I went back east to Buffalo, New York to rebuild my parents' house after it burned, uh, it was a two-story, it used to be an old corner delicatessen, and I hired an electrician to do the electrical work in there, just rewire everything, because it was still all old knob and tube and, and BX cable from the uh, old commercial parts downstairs where the uh, old corner store used to be. And Rich was a great guy, and, and uh, he asked me one day, he says, well, who are you gonna get to plumb this for you? I said, well, I'm gonna plumb it. And with his little gruff voice, he said, you know it's gonna to have to pass inspection. I said, yeah, you know it's gonna to have to pass inspection. And went downtown, I got my permits. And consequently, he was there uh, just roughing in the panels uh, in the basement when the plumber came to inspect my work. So the uh, city inspector was looking at all my work and said, wow, you put bumpers on everything. I said, yeah, I just, I hate rattling pipes in the wall. And this was before the PEX days, this was still all copper. And 15 seconds went by or so, and uh, the inspector goes, wow, you do a nicer job than most plumbers I know. <laughs> Rich just shook his head, turned around, and went back to work. And that's my little side note story. This is part of a honey-do list. I got my wife a new refrigerator coming tomorrow, and we need to hook up the water line for the ice maker. So I had some of my copper tees and fittings here that I'm going to retrofit my supply lines that I re replumbed when I redid our kitchen. So this is the T, this is gonna be a shark bite with a quarter inch uh, outlet and a valve quarter turnoff. My T and down here, that will hook up to the existing male ended uh, nipple that's coming out from the uh, floor. So now this is all soldered together, top to bottom. That's gonna fit on the supply line coming up from the uh, floor through the base cabinet. This here, this T will have this shark bite going on here, which has a quarter inch inlet or outlet for the uh, quarter inch copper line that's going to feed the refrigerator's ice maker. And this top male threaded nipple will have the uh, quarter inch shutoff that I'm going to take off from the existing one put on here. And then this one here is going to screw in to the existing quarter inch male nipple coming out of the floor. So I've got my assembly all soldered together with the T, uh, the two nipples, the male and the female nipple on there. And that little short stub out, which is gonna hold this shark bite valve, which is a quarter turn valve also. I like the quarter turn valves because they're a ball valve, uh, unlike the old ones, which have a little either rubber stopper or nylon stopper. So all that, all this here is going to sit on that assembly there. This is the cold water line. Uh, when I redid this kitchen, I had to move all my plumbing over to the wall because this used to be an L-shaped kitchen, which was very non-functional and very uh, 70s California architecture style. So I'm going to get all that set up and then tomorrow I'll run my quarter inch line. It has to run roughly 12 feet over to where the refrigerator is going to be and then I'm going to leave another six feet out. Uh, coiled up so when we pull the refrigerator out there's enough there to move that refrigerator out and back without compromising that uh, supply line for the ice maker. So now I've got this whole assembly all together connected. There's my uh, shark bite with the uh, quarter turn turn off and the quarter inch line that's going to be heading out across the uh, back side of the cabinets all the way through to the other end where the refrigerator is going. You can see that line come here. I've got a fastener there and there's a few fasteners on the back side of the wall too. So here's where that quarter inch supply line 
that's tied into my uh, uh, shark bite valve off under the uh, kitchen sink. This is roughly 12 feet from the kitchen sink out to the end of this cabinet. And I've got this pulled over here into a coil. The reason why you leave it in a coil is when it's hooked up in the refrigerator and they usually hook up on the, uh, uh, as you're facing the back of the refrigerator on the lower right hand side. Um, you leave typically at least enough uh, four feet of coil, sometimes five, where it will accordion out if you ever need to service or pull the refrigerator out to blow out all the dust or accumulations that are underneath where the uh, compressor and all the cooling coils are at. But uh, always leave that little additional in there to make that all work. I've got both my cutoff tools there, uh, the smaller ones just for uh, smaller pipe and then my larger one has that triangular reamer out so I just clean out the inside of the burrs off the uh, cut which uh, helps minimize any kind of accumulation of deposits on the line. And you should always do that with any kind of copper you're working with because uh, it's a good sound thing to do. So after I get all this done, get the refrigerator tied in, um, I'll finish up after I get these two closings behind me, uh, purchase all the base material that I need, get that painted, get that installed, finish up my other remodel project for the uh, my past real estate client. I've got a little bit of tile work to do there and some odds and ends. And then after that, I'm taking a few days off. It is good to be the king. Y'all take care. This is Casey with Home Smart Real Estate from Northern Colorado. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you down the road.